It's the dream. What's up, nieces and nephews? It's your boy Chow. And it's your boy Uncle Berg. And today, we're going to be reacting to a video made by the Proud family. Hey, that's Nate and Michaela. But, hey, the name of the video is called Break Up Prank on Girlfriend. So, a hey, the original video link will be down in the description box below. So make sure you guys go check it out. And if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share. But without further ado, guys, let's slide into the reaction. Let's get it! Family, I'm doing good. Let me know how you guys are doing in the comment section down below. Anyway, today me and the crew are gonna be watching a couple houses in the hills. Hopefully they're dope. They look pretty good online. But before we do that, I'm gonna prank my girlfriend Michaela. So basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna act like you know I found me my dream girl in Houston, and I'm gonna leave her and go back to Houston. Hopefully we get a good reaction. If we do, she get 20k likes, yo. Let's get it. Michaela. Michaela, are you coming or not? I thought we were leaving in 20 minutes. Let me just hold my shoes. Okay, I'm going to the show was in 15 minutes. This is like an hour, but we got to leave. Oh, we got to get food. Okay. But before we go, let's talk to you. Okay. 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 The only reason I'm looking at houses here is for you. And the only reason I'm doing that is because you said you don't want to do a long distance relationship. Right? Right. Right. Why don't you want to do a long distance relationship? Why don't you I don't want to do a long distance relationship because I'm so used to sleeping next to you every night. Okay. But it's only temporary. Yeah, but a year is a really long time. Okay, okay it's a long time, but it's only temporary. A year? Do you know how hard it is? To not wake up next to you every morning. Do you know how hard it is? I couldn't even do it for a week. Okay, well, you can get accustomed to doing it. Dang. It's for a year. And it's where I want to be. I want to go to Houston. And to be honest, I feel like you're forcing me to stay here. I don't want you to feel like I'm forcing you to stay here. I just don't want to lose you. And I, I just want to be with you, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Why are you crying? Because I, I just didn't know you felt that way. I love you so much and I'm just afraid to lose you. And I don't know. Honestly, um, when I was in Houston, I had like so much fun. And then when you left, it was... It was strange for a minute, but after a while, I got used to it, and I started having a lot more fun. And then, dang, that's crazy. Honestly, I feel like, well, I know our heart just went out, and I met this girl. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! It's like a face. I don't want to do a long distance relationship because me and her really vibe. And <gasps> I feel like that wouldn't be fair to you or me because, as you said, a year is a long time and you don't want to do a long distance relationship. So I feel like I was vibing with her. So I mean, I want to see where that goes. Because you're the one that said you don't want to do a long distance relationship, so I feel like it would be in your best interest. See, it's always be bad when they try to flip pursue it on other options. <laughs> so you're talking to somebody else. Um, 
technically, yeah. That's all she got just, the whole thing. You talking to somebody else. I mean, I wouldn't say like about her. I wanted, well, I met her, we spoke, you know, we vibed, and I didn't want to do it behind your back, so I wanted to come to you first and see how, you know, you feel about it. Because as I said, you said you didn't want to do a long distance relationship, so, and I don't want to stay here. What? Okay. What? No, tell me. Nothing. Come on, come on, come on. Let's just talk about it. So. It's not funny, but it's funny. <laughs> How do you feel it about it? crazy. How do you think How I feel about it? Okay, chill out. You don't have to scream. No, are you went behind the back. I didn't go. I didn't go behind the back. You went and had what dinner with someone. What did you do? I went out and then I met this girl while I was out. And you got her number. Yeah. Come on, chill. And you got her number. Chill, chill, relax. So relax. Relax. <laughs> relax. I mean, I said I was gonna stay in Houston anyway, and you said you didn't wanna do a long distance relationship. So what else is there for me to do? When you brought me you, up you, to Houston. Wait, hold up. You were gonna when you brought me up to Houston, I thought we were going on vacation. Yeah, we were going on vacation. No, but listen. And I thought honestly you were gonna propose to me or something, like just something in my heart. I wouldn't even tell my mom like I have a feeling he's gonna propose to me in Houston. Okay, and what would have me proposing done? Just now it, it would it would have still been one. Well ever since been you been came coming. back from Houston, we don't talk about marriage, we don't talk about wanting to start a family anymore and because I just feel like you said you didn't I feel like the last couple days you've been laying next to me and you're not with me. Yeah. It's like your body is with me, but you're somewhere else. Yeah, you're, I'm, it's I'm like in, you're, I'm in Houston. You're not, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. It's, it's where I'm so You're just not in love with me. Like I'm in love with you. That's honestly how I feel. I'm not in love with you. And you're not willing to settle down with me here, at least for a year. Like I want you to do anything. Why? Why would I stay here and be unhappy for a year? You shouldn't need me to be happy. It's not that I need well, you. Exactly. So why would it's, I say It's not that, that I need you. Happen? You don't understand. Well, okay. I could live with you on the street in a box. Okay. And as long as I'm with you, I'm happy. But not because you make me happy, but because I feel like God put you in my life for a reason. Okay. And then when I said I would really listen to you do the long distance relationship, he didn't want to make it work. I, I was it's like, okay, I no, I was the person that said. I want to do a long distance relationship. And then you said no. You said, you said no. Saying he wants enough isn't enough. You, said, you know? Okay. You know? You know my parents have a long distance relationship and you're together right now. So the only thing that's preventing you from being, you know, making it work is you. Oh, shoot. Dang. But anyway, as I was saying, Dang. so since you said that. You didn't want to do the long distance relationship, you know. I spoke to her and we really vibed and it really made me understand why you didn't want to do the long distance relationship. So I don't know. But do you really not want to do it because I feel like I understand where you're coming from, so, and I don't want to put that burden on you, especially since I feel like I found a girl that, you know, could really make me happy. She could really make you happy. Yeah. Is that what you want? That's great. This is what I want. Hundred percent. I want happiness. You don't have it with me. I mean, I have it with you. But I have it in Houston as well. Without her, like Houston makes me happy. And then I feel like she just compliments my happiness. Okay. Get away from me. Why, why are you leaving? It's crazy because she used to be hitting him and stuff, but she ain't. Michaela. Michaela. No, no. Go be with that girl. Go be with that girl. Go be with her. Chill out. No. You don't wake Nick's up. No. 
Go be with her. She she didn't supposed to miss sleep. I knew. You, like I why? Knew. What is else is there to talk about? You want to keep rubbing it in my face that you went and met a girl and went out behind my back? I would never do that to you. No, listen. I would never do that to you. I would never go out with another man. I would never go out with another man. I would never go out with another man. I went out and she was there. I would never get another man. How would you feel if I got another guy's number? I mean, you said you didn't want to do long distance. So, I just, you know. I really want to slap the shit out of you right now. Slap the shit out of you right now. Dang, he ain't gonna bleep it out. That was a family chunk. Take you off. Why would you do that to me? What did I do? What did you do? What did, what did I do? What did you do? What did I do? Chill out. What would you do? Chill out. What did Open you do? Hand. Chill out. What did mm -hmm. I do? What did you do? What did I do? Why would you go get another girl's number? Why? Huh? You said you didn't want to huh? be together. You said you can't do long distance. That doesn't mean I don't want to be with you. That's what you said. You said, oh, if I don't stay in Cali, you're breaking up with me. I thought that you would try to find a house with your friends and stuff. Like, it's not that I don't want to be with you. It's that you said that the most you could see me a month is once a month. I didn't say that. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Those words never came out of my mouth. You said once a month. I said, you're going to see me at least once a month. I didn't say, oh, you're going to see me once a month. I said, at least. You know how much that is? Yeah, I know. That's at least an extra... <laughs> What one to two thousand dollars a month? Okay. My parents went longer than that. You know what? As a kid, my dad would travel all the time, mm -hmm. and I hated seeing my dad leave. But he had to. Okay, but he had to. But at the same time, it was only like six months to a year, and it was back and forth my whole life. Like. I just want something stable in my life and I just don't want you to leave. I just wish I would have met you later. I just wish that I would have met you after I was done with school. And when you felt like you wanted to settle down, but all of a sudden now you have this other girl you're talking to? Are you going to even tell me? But why wouldn't you tell me the first day you get here? Now I feel stupid. I'm all telling people like, oh, I love Nate. Like, I hope he stays. Like, that just looking stupid. And here you are talking to somebody else. That's crazy. That's it. It's a prank. That's not funny. That's not funny. It's a prank. It's not. It's not funny. Dang. Your camera's right there. One of my cameras. The G7X is right there. <laughs> like, God dang. Oh, I got you good, right? It's on. It's on? Revenge. That's so you're not moving back to Texas? I didn't say that, but I, I don't have another girl. <laughs> Oh, you sweet. That's what you get. You no. Like you're having a baby. But regardless, you're still moving to Texas. You're still moving to Texas. Went to Texas for a few days. Worked the scout at the property. Looking like I won a lottery. None of that hate really bothered me. Well, all right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that little video. Um, <laughs> hey, that was that was crazy. A lot of emotions was. Spilled in that video. That's a lot of uh, I, I mean, that was a good prank. I mean, he got a good with that one, but um, if you guys like the video, leave a like, leave a comment for more video suggestions that y'all want us to uh react to. Um, share, subscribe, subscribe, like, <laughs> mm -hmm. tell your mama, tell your grandma, tell your daddy, tell everybody, just share it. And um, we love you, stay safe, and be blessed. And we out. Peace.